My name is Marion Tasaki. We're on Community Matters today. I'm filling in for Jay Fidel, who's lucky enough to be on vacation in Europe. And we're delighted, delighted today to have Darcy Scharfenstein of the Hawaii Foundation of Entrepreneurs. Did I get that right? Entrepreneurs Foundation of Hawaii. Entrepreneurs Foundation of Hawaii. Yeah, no and I'm dying to know about this. I'm dying to know how old it is and how you, did you found it or what? Tell me everything about it. Okay, yeah. So it was actually founded 11 years ago and I've been on board for about a year now. So um, it was founded actually by John Dean of Central Pacific Bank okay. and um, yeah, and some of um, the folks in the startup world. Um, and it was really founded with a mission to help entrepreneurs and startup businesses create their own foundations for philanthropy and oh, giving that's back. Oh, terrific. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so um, they had a, a previous president, an executive director, um, who had been, you know, uh, manning the ship and um, really doing a great job in this community, helping c um, companies not only get started but grow right. um, to the point of either liquidity or some sort of exit, um, at which point then companies would donate 1% of their equity to start up their own foundation. Oh, that's terrific. Yeah. It's a really neat model. Um, it was happening um, all over the world, um, in Israel, in Silicon Valley, um, in Austin, Texas. So so um, many other entrepreneurs' foundations. So it was modeled really after a proven uh, model. Model, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. So what? So what kind of foundations have people started as a consequence of you know? Yeah. So you know, it's interesting. So since I've come on board, we're really focused on. Um, starting any type of service that you can actually do. So what, whatever the companies are passionate about, whatever it is that they're interested in, and my focus has been on community um, organizing and community issues. And so what are the problems that we're trying to solve, not only as the startup community, but as a community at large, and making those connections with our companies so that they can find their passion, essentially, right. not only through their business, but through um, the model of giving back to the community. Community. That's terrific because mm -hmm. a lot of startups um, actually are involved with the community. Um, my husband is an IT guy and he's doing, um, he's participating in the Hackathon, which is mm -hmm. a statewide um, it's contest. Anyway, he's doing a, a voting app and mm -hmm. there, were, there are people who are doing like homelessness apps. Yes. And so th there's a lot of um, interest in community matters. Um, at, at, in startups. I don't know if it's because the people there are younger and they're closer to, you know, their, their community have less burdens, maybe not families, but they, they, all of the apps that there was a little like fair and all of the apps were pretty much public interest oriented apps. So there's a lot of public interest orientation in the startup community. Absolutely. I think that's the point that we're trying to make is that we're all in this together. We're all trying to solve the same problems. And so whether that be through technology information, um, through an app you're creating or through a business that you're starting and a product you're developing, it really aligns very well with the same things that uh, many nonprofits are actually solving through people power, right, right? right? And so if we can match them and align their interests in solving these really tough problems that the state has, you've named some of them already, um, that all ships will eventually rise. So in other words, um, the entrepreneurs bring the funding and the uh, public interest firms bring the manpower and the know-how is that is that how it go works it's like a, yeah. like a, like a marriage of sorts sort exactly of? there's oh. a lot of mentoring that goes on there's a lot of um, we have pitch events you know where companies come in pitch their ideas and we have investors who uh, are essentially our judges um, similar to Shark Tank that you might know on okay, TV. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they give them really honest feedback and um, constructive criticism in order to be able to have their companies take off or take them to the next level. Well, you know, I, I'm a, you know, I told you I'm a business lawyer and I am always delighted there's such a protein growing um, young business community here. I'm always fascinated with things that people will, will think of to that think, think, you know, is of interest to people. So what are some of, are, are there some names we'd be familiar with that have come through uh, Entrepreneurs of Hawaii? Yeah, so Hoku Scientific would be um, probably the biggest one. And so that was actually our um, 
big success story, you know, because they uh, were seen through to an, a successful exit. And so um, that is really the um, the model, right? The, the right. model that, um, as it were. Um, now in our startup community, we're seeing a lot of young energy, as you say, a lot of companies that are uh, going through accelerators. You might know um, of some of our partners, Blue Startups, Energy Accelerator, yes, I've heard. Yes, Accelerate yes, UH. Absolutely, yeah. yeah, so the companies are really able to grow with the support of the ecosystem, with support of the um, accelerators. So we want to be able to get more companies to that successful exit. <laughs> you, you heard uh, Darcy, she wants to get you to a successful exit. So. <laughs> you should give her a call if you need help. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So how do, how do people apply for your, like, do, is there an application process or can they just call up or what, what, how do they get involved? Well, it's really that commitment. So they have to make the commitment of the 1% mm -hmm. um, of equity mm -hmm. in order to set up their own community service and philanthropy. Mm -hmm. Slash but what if even ever. if it's really tiny, or I mean, does absolutely. It have, oh, okay, yeah. great. Yeah, so we, um, you know, we have companies um, that have donated um, hardwoods because the, you know koa trees because they are, um, right. you know, a hardwood company. Right. And so it's really um, whatever you can do, but it has to be aligned with again the mission of philanthropy and giving right. back and investing in the community that supports them. Well, that sounds just like something that's perfect. For th it's a perfect match for Think Tech because, mm -hmm. I mean, this is really uh, just trying to broaden the community. It's the community at large, and, and we, you know, we discuss a whole host of issues that are, you know, it, you know, they do, they're just of interest to people and people can come in and come down and participate if they want. So it's like, it's, it's, oh, yeah, 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 it's, it's, so it sounds like a great synergy you have going with, with the companies. So yeah, it is. And, um, you know, we welcome any and all startup companies, you know, um, a lot of ours have been focused in the infotech area, but you know, I just met someone today who's starting up a wellness company. Oh and, really? Yeah. And you know, we're completely open to that conversation. You know, um, again, we, the more that we can solidify our startup, community it's actually called startup paradise here in hawaii and so it's a community of really yes that's true startup paradise mm -hmm. with, with yeah entrepreneur you mean uh, just for uh, entrepreneurs are called startup startups are called startup paradise exactly it's terrific and we're an ecosystem of different organizations, different support groups. Um, ours is focused obviously on philanthropy and community service, but there are other um, companies and organizations out there that will support um, different startups in their various stages of growth, whether it be just an idea or ready to launch. Right. So, um, you know, there's a lot of resources out there. Um, I will say though that the more support is needed. Um, of you course, know. <laughs> always to do good. Yes, yeah, so we definitely want to keep advocating you know, at the state legislature and ensuring that our elected leaders really um, know what's going on in the startup community and have a vested interest in helping our economy grow. Well, I should I should hope so. I mean, like I said, I've been, well, I'm from New York and I've been here about a year and a half now. Mm -hmm. And I was just so um, delighted to meet all these young business people. I've met a lot through ThinkTech, through my husband. It's It really is a, a uh, an island of a tremendous energy and creativity. And to facilitate that is, is, is you know, terrific. So, yeah. and, and the uh, government, I well, I hear that there's a new chief information officer in the government who's really like pro startups. Absolutely. And so, yeah. yeah. And DBET has been great. They've been wonderful supporters as well. And so making sure that we continue to have those champions in leadership and um, to really give our startups a shot, you know, right. here in Hawaii. It's right. really important to not only uh, attract talent, but keep our talent here. Right. Yes, that's, well, you know, my, my husband, he's from here, and he was part of the, like, brain drain out of Hawaii 20 mm -hmm. years ago. He went to New York because there just wasn't the opportunities in, in computers that he um, sought, you know, sure. and th and that's why it's so important to, you know, develop these, like, kind of cutting edge, you know, industries so that people want, you know, can feel like it can be done here, yes, you know, they exactly. don't have to go to San Francisco or New York, or, you, know, you know. Exactly, that's the goal, you know, we want to definitely, we have so much, um, you know, 
talent. Um, my son is in high school right now, and they're creating amazing things, you know, at his school and all over the state, really. And so we can continue to shine a light on our talent. Um, you know, it's fine if they go away to college, but we definitely want them to come back and continue contributing to our economy here. So it's our job to ensure that the system and structures are in place so that they can come back right. or, um, you know, stay. Right. Well, I, <laughs> yeah. you know, um, there's no reason, I mean, there's no reason it, it, it shouldn't be. I mean, the, mm -hmm. like you said, there's the talent and there's the desire, and, and now you have government support, so that's, you know, that's like a big, uh, a big uh, part of it, right? So, I, you know, I couldn't believe when you told me that you have a son in high school. I was <laughs> stunned. You, so, what, so what kinds of projects are they doing there at Punahou that are so interesting that... that well, he's just started his computer science class, and he's already, within you know the first couple of weeks of school, created a basketball game. Oh, wow! An online basketball Terrific. game, yeah, and it measures you know um, everything, the angles, and you know what the speed is, and all of that. And um, his teacher was just sharing with us that um, because he's doing his doctorate program um, in the UK, uh, the BBC has. Uh, commissioned a specific tool that uh, is only used in the UK because um, it's government funded, mm -hmm. but because he's doing his doctoral program, he actually can pilot it here in Hawaii. Oh, so, excellent. Yeah, so they have access to all these resources, um, and I'm, I, mean, I think he's going to learn Java and, you know, That's all kinds terrific. of things. Yeah, because, yeah. you know what, it, at that age, it's like a sponge. I mean, it's just, it's, yeah. it comes naturally to yeah. you, and, what, you know, it, Puno is such a great school. I mean, they're so... The, uh, the intellectuals that come out of there are always kind of astonishing, I think, you <laughs> yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. So I think we're going to take a quick break. Okay. And then we'll come back and we'll talk about how a mother and a uh, wife are married. <laughs> no, <laughs> not mother. Just single mother is a doing it mother. alone here in Hawaii. <laughs> Aloha. This is Reg Baker with Business in Hawaii. We're a show that broadcasts every Thursday at 2 o'clock. We would love to hear from you, and you can reach us in several different ways. We have a hotline that you can call in at 415-871-2474, or you can email us at thinktechhawaii.com, or you can tweet us at thinktechhi. Looking forward to hearing from you and seeing you on our next show. Aloha. Aloha. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. -E and I'm the other half of the duo. John Newman, welcome. We are co-hosts of a show called Keys to Success, which is live on the Think Tech Live Network series, weekly on Thursdays at 11 a.m. We're looking forward to seeing you then. Aloha. Aloha, everyone. I hope you've been watching Think Tech Hawaii, but I'm here to invite you to watch me on Viva Hawaii every Monday at 3 p.m. I'm waiting for you. Mahalo. Hi, I'm Marion Saki, and I'm delighted to have Darcy Scharfenstein here of the Entrepreneurs Foundation of Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about how uh, the Entrepreneurs Foundation of Hawaii helps uh, helps uh, startups, helps companies, and they the companies have to commit to to one percent of their equity mm -hmm. to do public work or public kind, some kind of public service. Right? Yes. That's a terrific idea. It's such a terrific idea. So w I was asking Darcy how she gets the word out, and you said you have events. Yes, so we have events. Um, we actually have our annual um, event coming up here in November, on November 3rd at Wailai Country Club. And it's really just um, a, a very relaxed, you know, get to know um, new people, hang out with people you might not have seen in a while, and it happens once a year. Um, but it is open to the public. That's and great. Have, yeah. If people want to find out more about it, do you have a website? Or? Yeah, it's efhawaii.org. efhawaii.org. Come to the event at the Wildlife Country Club. You won't be disappointed. It's beautiful there. So, so who's who's going? Is there a? Uh, do you have speakers, or is it just a meet and greet? Or? Yeah, it's really relaxed. We don't uh, put any format on it. I say a few words. Our board chair says a few words, and it's really just enjoy 
enjoy each other. Um, we have wonderful sponsors um, and donors. We have a silent auction. Um, people can bid on items. Oh, you should. So. That's terrific. I, no, yeah. I want to come. I'm open on November 3rd. I'll go look on your please. website. No, yeah, yeah I'd love to. Join maybe us. I'll see our, we have some mutual friends who are members of the Hawaii Light Country <laughs> Club, so maybe I'll see them when yeah. I go. It sounds like, you know, great fun, it, you know. Yes, purely social, um, a lot of fun. We do have another um, event that we're going to be launching for the first time ever, and it'll be our annual signature event. It'll be in early 2017, probably February, and uh -huh. so we'll post that information on our website as well, but I'm really excited about this event because it's... Um, what we're calling an opportunity for companies to come and workshop with us. So say, Terrific. yeah, say they want to work on branding. Um, you know, they need to secure their URL and they need a, a better company name and we'll workshop them through that. So every company and every entrepreneur that comes to our event will actually walk away with a deliverable. So, yeah, very oh, exciting. Oh, that's terrific. That's very encouraging. Financing, fundraising, um, marketing, branding, legal, any type of um, issue that you have, you can bring it to our event. We'll have expert facilitators and... Where everyone. do you find the expert facilitators? Are they just part of the, the do-gooding community? Or yeah, they're, they are. they're all local. Tremendous yeah. uh, uh, benefactors here right, in Hawaii. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Um, the board of directors of our organization um, represents all of the accelerators that I mentioned before, Blue Startups Energy Accelerator and Accelerate UH. We also have um, Startup Capital Ventures, um, which John, John Dean was a part of as well. Um, and um, yeah, and then we have UH representative and local community representative, um, Biz Gym Foundation, Lemonade Alley. So I, we have a very strong board. What's Lemonade Alley? Oh, Lemonade Alley is very cool. So um, it's basically a, a competition for kids. So they create a lemonade stand. They actually sell lemonade, and uh, all of their profits go to progress. So it's profit for progress. So every single dollar that is made is donated to a charity of their choice. Yeah. Terrific. That's yeah. a great What What are the age? What's the age group? Um, so it's from K through 12. Oh, so wow. they have like um, an elementary, a middle school, and a high school category. Um, and I got to be a part of that this year. We um, sponsored and we actually order, um, awarded the Biggest Giving Heart Award. Um, oh, really? Yeah. And um, these two girls, Michaela and Piper, they had their lemonade stand and they decided to donate all of their proceeds to Ho'ola Napua, which is a... Um, refuge for um, trafficked girls. Right, and I've so, heard of it before. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's terrific. So it was really a social impact award. It was a chance for us to kind of shine a light on people who intentionally chose their charity with real meaning and heart um, and and wanted to make a difference, right. really, in right. their own community. But isn't that the way, it's like the only way to be really successful to, is to be passionate about something, whether it's your career or whether it's your your uh, public service. I mean, you have to really be interested in the community you want to help. I mean, if you're not, it's, it feels like such a burden, but if you are, it, it's, it's, it feels, it's delightful. It feels great. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. We um, partner also, there's another um, organization, .org, um, HVCA, and we partner with them um, and also gave a social impact award there for um, adults. <laughs> so oh, okay. it, it was for computational thinkers. Um, uh -huh. They're a storefront over in Kohala. Um, they teach kids to code and they give back so much of their time to the community in free lessons and organizing movie wow. nights and all kinds What's of... What's it called? Computational uh -huh. development? No. Computational thinkers. Computational yeah. thinkers. And is it only for kids or do they have adult classes they too? I think they do have adult classes too. Um, Very at interesting. The time they were expanding and so um, but part of our model is that you have to pay it forward so we gave them the award and they were able to pay it forward to Honolulu Mini Maker Fair. Oh I, yeah, yeah. My <laughs> husband went to the Mini Maker Fair. Well so did Jay. Everybody you know. It was really fun. Yeah. Yeah. And so, That's great. Yeah. Well pay it forward it's like this most simple concept but it's the most it's so effective I mean it's it's just so easy to do. Anybody can do it. You yes. can do it bigger. You can do it small. You could. It just. It just should be part of your life. You yes, know the way absolutely. you think about things in a holistic way. Because everything you do sort of influences other things. So 
Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And if we can start at the young ages and um, even stages, right, of the business, if you start at the business and you give them the foundation for that mindset and that thinking of, I'm a part of this community, so I need to contribute, right. um, it just grows from there. It definitely does. I wish yeah. I had an opportunity as a kid. I mean, it's a terrific, uh, when, you, when you see kids helping, it's a terrific op opportunity for them. They grow, they give to the community, uh, you know, I've, I've been involved in a lot of programs like that that have uh, interfaced kids and, and communities in need, whether they're um, seniors or the homeless or whatever, and I've organized kids, and it's, it's terrific. It's a terrifically rewarding thing to do. It really is. Yeah. And they're so much fun, you know? You right. can't just, there's their energy and their ideas and enthusiasm. So you must ha have a, you you sound like you have a terrifically war rewarding job. I do. I'm very blessed. You're you know? lucky, yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting interesting place to be in, um, you know, the startup scene right now. Um, we have a lot of work to do still in terms of, you know, growing and supporting our companies, but um, the folks who have been working at this for so many years have really given it a very solid foundation. Excellent. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's yeah. great. Okay, I'm going to say the name once more so you should go to the website and look. It's <laughs> Entrepreneurs Foundation of Hawaii, and say the website again. Um, EFHawaii.org. EFHawaii.org. Mm -hmm. Go and have a look around and check out the events. Come go to Wailai Country Club, you know, lend uh, a little bit of support. And uh, yeah, that, uh, we look forward to your next event too. Do you plan these or do you have a marketing department? Or like, what's your function there? How do you, what do you spend your days doing there? Yeah, you're, Everything, I bet. You're looking at it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I do have um, the support of an admin um, who also helps us, you know, just with the events and, and the daily functions of the organization. Um, but, you know, the more that we can attract more companies to us, the more that we Absolutely. can actually do for the community. Right. So You should be so proud. This, it's such yeah. a delight to have you on the show today. And thank you so much yeah. for coming because I, it just, it, I, you know, I'm very entrepreneurial. I've had a couple of businesses myself, and so it's it's kind of, uh, it's like a slick little secret uh, <laughs> interest of mine, you know, <laughs> thinking up little ideas and, you know. So it's great to know that there's resources out there to help you and then in turn help the community. So that's, you know, terrific. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. It's okay, it's okay. So is there anything you would like our viewers to know? Any last, you have any final words or anything? Just come and look and see and support, yeah. right? Yeah, and they can join. Um, you can join on our website, efhawaii.org. Um, but, you know, we do encourage I'm people to just come to our events as well. Yeah, right. we have um, lifetime membership. We have annual membership. We have corporate membership. So we have all kinds of membership models um, and ways to interact with us. So um, it's a really great organization. And our team is, you know, our board is wonderful and um, our community is really fun too. <laughs> so support support them. Go to their website and support them. I'm going to join. I'm going to go to Wailai because I I just think I'm dying to see the people that are in the startup community in Hawaii. I'd love to meet as many as possible because you know also as a lawyer it's great because I can help lots of people. You know, they everybody needs business advice especially at the uh, early stages. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to hold you to that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> totally. You should call me up anytime. <laughs> okay. So once again, we have Darcy Scharfenstein. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. You've been watching Life in the Law. I'm. Oh, you're not watching Life in the Law. You're life, watching Community Matters. I did Life in the Law earlier. I'm Marianne Sasaki, Community Matters, Wednesday at 3, typically with Jay Fidel. See you soon.